You're watching KPRC2, Houston's home for news. Nearly 800,000 people suffer a stroke in the U.S. every year, and one of the biggest challenges afterward is recovering the use of a limb. Enter the robotic arm, which is being held a major breakthrough, especially for at-home rehab. Yeah, health reporter Haley Hernandez joining us now. And Haley, what's exciting is a Houston man was the first to use it. Yeah, I know. I bet you're looking at that video going like, how on earth is this going to work, right? Well, U of H says, if you think it, it will move. They're strapping patients into a robotic arm, which turns brain activity into motor commands. It is science, nonfiction, and all Oswald Reedus in Richmond wants to do is to be able to use his arms to hug his grandchildren. Good. Yep. When 66-year-old Oswald Reedus had a stroke in 2014, he lost the ability to walk, talk, and use his left arm. I get up and, and thinking that I'm going to use my arm today, and uh, it's not there. After regaining his speech and movement, he's the first stroke patient in the world to use a robotic arm controlled by his brain waves. Neurotechnologies like exoskeletons are normally limited to the lab or clinic and are very expensive. Inventor Jose Luis Contreras Vidal says they hope this will change that. It's intended to give you a solution that you can use in the privacy of your home. He says it works by reading the brain waves firing while the patient wears this. There are patterns in that information that relate to our behavior, our actions, our thoughts, our feelings, our, our, our sensations. So we teach computers to learn to identify specific patterns that are related to their uh, actions. In this case, uh, movement of the upper limb. Rita says he's been doing this regularly for six weeks and is making big strides, and he remains determined to meet his goal. My goal in life now is to uh, even hold my grandkids or hug them, a bear hug, a big bear hug. So it is a medical milestone that certainly takes a village. The project is funded by an $814,000 grant from the National Science Foundation. They plan to have data ready to submit to the FDA in about a year. And we now know how that works, right? They'll yeah. get FDA approval and then hopefully it would be available okay. to a wider population. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it, the moment he gets to hug his grandkids, it's going to be the best moment. With both arms. Yeah. yeah. That'll be special. Wow. Get in there. Great story, Haley. Thank you. Thanks, guys.